All right, I want to show you exactly what to do if you're using the product launch pipeline and you have multiple price points that you want to display. So this is the pipeline, which is, again, it's just all of the regular pages glued together or strung together or linked together. However you want to visualize it, that's all Kajabi has done for you is said, I would like the product launch pipeline and Kajabi says, great, it needs these pieces and they put them together for you and hand it to you on a nice, beautiful tray. So when you're wanting to offer different price points, there, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can do that. So on video four, because this is going to be the final video. So if you only have three videos, then just delete video three and you can still use video four in that place. So here is what people would see on the final video. All right. And here's your call to action that says, I'm ready to build my e-learning empire. If we click on this call to action, because this is going to take them to the next step in the pipeline. Well, the next step in the pipeline is the offer checkout page. So let's go through different ways that you could address providing different price points using the product launch setting. So first off, let's go into, we're back at the main dashboard for Video 4's landing page. Again, this is our standard landing page. There's nothing fancy about it just because we it's part of a pipeline. They organized it for you. So what you want to do is click Add Section, and then you want to look for the pricing options. Now, pricing options is great because here, look, you can provide multiple price points. So let's go ahead and click Add for this. When we do... Again, we can change the heading, we can change the subheading, we're going to customize this so that it fits exactly what we are doing. Let's click save, and then we're going to go back to the main page, and you'll see that it shows up underneath the multi-video launch. So this is what the page is looking like of here's our video that's video four, and then out of the box pipeline build is to have the call to action, which then would take them to the offer checkout page. And again, they could still click and go back to any of these three landing pages. So let's take the call to action that comes pre-installed and let's just move it to the bottom. Okay, now you have the video right here, that's video four, and you also have the trainings. But then again, it's still a little bit far down for the scrolling options. So aesthetically, again, totally aesthetics, um, try moving your thumbnails right here at the top. Okay, so if I go to this page, I see, yep, there's all the trainings, build my game plan, watch my video, and now, the pricing options are right here. So here are the three pricing options that are standing in place of that single call to action. Now, what you want to do is for each of these call to action, we'll click on it. It's going to say call to action, and we'll just call this, we'll type it in just so it's easy to find, pricing option one, okay? And we want to send it to a checkout page. Now the checkout page, and this is my test site, we're going to pick pipeline testing. You would pick offer checkout page for pricing option one and then click save. So instead of having a single scroll up above it, here's our original call to action. It was going to the next step in the pipeline, which is the single offer checkout page that you choose when you first build this pipeline. Now we're using three. Okay, here's our pricing options and we have three of them. So on the middle one, we're going to click the call to action and this would be pricing option two. Again, you're going to choose checkout page and then from your drop down, choose the offer checkout page for pricing option two. So they're going to see the option and they're going to go straight to the checkout page for that pricing option. Click save and then we're going to repeat the process for pricing option three. 
click on the call to action, just change this, pricing option three. Again, choose the checkout page. From your drop-down mem menu, choose offer checkout pricing number three. Now, click save, and what you'll find is that you're not gonna need the standard call to action that was out of the box. So on this one, we'll open it up, and again, it said for this, go to the next pipeline step, which we know is the offer checkout page. So all we're gonna do is scroll to the bottom, we're gonna delete it, okay? So that is not there anymore. Now instead of one call to action, we have three, and they're based on the pricing options that you created on video page four. Now we go back to the product launch page, our pipeline dashboard that makes it really easy. And this pipeline testing right here, this offer checkout page, the only people going there are the people um, that you selected for this offer checkout point pricing point. doesn't matter if you select one, two, or three because they're not going to go, once they get to video four, their next steps, they are going to then have three options which are going to take them to exactly the place that you want them to be. Now, you could add some more information to this page. You can arrange it any way that you would like, but this is exactly how you provide multiple pricing options when you are using the product launch pipeline. If you have any questions, please feel free, leave them in the comments below. Let me um, know what you're thinking, and I am more than glad to answer them in any way that I can. Have a fabulous day building your pipeline.